welcome back to your Friday broadcast. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. My name's Hannah. I'm Tori. Now let's kick it off with Athlete of the Week with Zach and Colin. What's up, Titans? I'm here with your Athlete of the Week, Colin McCann. What sport do you play, Colin? I play football. How long have you been playing football for? I've been playing football for four years now. What got you into football, Colin? Um, when I was growing up, my dad would always put on football games, and he always loved football, and so it always made me want to play. Nice. How's the season going so far for you? Um, it's going pretty good. Um, I'm currently leading the team in touchdowns, and we're, we have three wins in the season. What a guy. So, how are y'all looking for playoffs this year? For playoffs, I think we're actually looking pretty solid. We're looking to make a deep run, win a, win a chip. Sounds good. What's your favorite memory from football so far? I'd say my favorite memory is um, beating RB my sophomore year. That's all for this week, Titans. Let's send it on back to Hannah Roby. Good job, guys. Now let's send it off to Activities Review with Jaden and Brindley. What's, What's up, Titans? Titans? I'm Jaden. And I'm Brindley. And, and this, this is Activities, Activities Review. Review. Last week, some of our Titans performed in the Alice in Wonderland play at the PCPA. Let's go check out some clips. Incredible performance, Titans. Hey, Brindley, have you noticed how colorful campus is recently? Yeah, I actually have. What's it for? I heard that the classes were decorating campus to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. I think we should go walk around and check it out. Seems like a good idea. That really puts me in the spirit. Also, Titans, next week, starting on Monday, November 4th through the 6th, they will be holding auditions for the Cinderella play. You can scan the QR code on the screen to get more information. Titans, be sure to get excited and go support the first annual Unified Sports event today against Del Norte. It starts at 12 p.m. at the Titan Stadium. Be there or be square. Go green. That's, That's all, all we have, have for this week, Titans. Titans. Now let's wave it on back to the anchors. What a fun week. I loved all your guys' costumes. Now let's head it off to see what entertainment we have with Julian and Ryan. What's up, Titans? My name's Julian. And I'm Ryan. And we're Power Entertainment. Today we're going to be bringing four new things to you. The new AMC movie coming to you, Titans, is Red One. Evening, ladies. What are you so excited about? Of course, your boyfriend's here. Okay. <laughs> okay. That movie looks exciting, Ryan. And a new Netflix TV show coming to you is Stranger Things. The city is burning. I can't lie, I can't pretend. Dang, Julian, this new season's gonna go down in the books. It definitely is, Ryan. And uh, Song of the Week is Jamin by Bob Marley. What Jamin? That song is a classic, Ryan. Yeah, it is. And a concert coming to San Diego this week, Sabrina Carpenter. Check the concert out, Giants. Now, we'll send it all back to the anchors. What a great pick. Now let's send up to Tot and Molly with Combo Cookie Review. Titans. I'm Tatiana and my guest today is Jaden. This week we're trying Dirt Cake, Blue Monster featuring Chips Ahoy, Peanut Butter featuring Reese's Pieces, and Halloween Cake Batter Blondie. The first one we're trying is Dirt Cake. We give this cookie a 2.5 because it really lived up to the dirt name. It tasted like dirt, it was crunchy like dirt, and I don't think anybody should be having that amount of chocolate on one cookie. Our second cookie is Blue Monster featuring Chips Ahoy. Over 
overall, we give this cookie a 5.5 out of 10 because there's too much frosting for the cookie, but it has a good texture and I like that it's chilled. Our third cookie we're trying is peanut butter featuring Reese's Pieces. We give this cookie a 9.3 because we loved how the outside was like really crunchy and then the inside was like melted and soft and the peanut butter flavoring wasn't too overpowering. The last cookie we're trying is a Halloween cake batter blondie. Ooh, that gave me a cavity. <laughs> we give this cookie a 3.25 out of 10 because the sprinkles were really overpowering and gave an artificial flavor. It just wasn't that good. Overall, we give this week a one because there's only one good cookie. Everything tasted really like fake and artificial and kind of like you might get a disease after eating these. And it tasted like you're at like a two-year-old's birthday party eating like the desserts off the table. That's all for this week, Titans. Now let's send it on back to the anchors. Thank you for the honors review, guys. Now let's send it off to Jake and Blake for class trivia. I'm Jake. And I'm Blake. And this is Titan Trivia. What's up, Titans? Welcome back to Titan Trivia. Today, the rules will be each contestant will receive three questions. Each question will be five points. Each class will have a chance to have 14 questions on the wheel. In case of a tie, we will go into a tiebreaker round between the two classes. Hey, Titans. Welcome back to another episode of Titan Trivia. I'm Blake, and today I'm here with... Kezi Thibodeau. Let's get right into it. Kezi, it's your first time to spin that wheel. Go ahead. Question 14. The unicorn is the national animal for which country? Ready, set, go. Australia? That is incorrect. The correct answer was Scotland. Spin that wheel for your second question. Question 12. What is the least common color of M&Ms? Ready, set, go. Yellow? That is incorrect. The correct answer was brown. This is your last question. Spin that wheel. Question three. What is a group of flamingos called? Ready, set, go. A flock? That is incorrect. The correct answer was a flamboyance. Kezi receives zero points for the junior class. Better luck next time. Now let's send them on back to the anchors. Great job, guys. That's all we have for this week, Titans. Have a great weekend. Peace, Peace out, Power. power.